Hey guys, Coach Andy here from the Paleo Secret 30 Day Challenge. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are out enjoying the beautiful day with friends and family. I'm actually getting ready in the next hour or so to pick up my little sister who's going to be visiting me for the next 24 hours. She's going to be traveling in from New York City and I'm so excited to see her. Um, family is super important to me and because she is so far on the other side of the country, I actually don't get to see her very often. So I'm really excited to have this time with her and to just spend time. Yeah. So I just wanted to jump on here really quick because something that's been coming up a lot that I've noticed, um, I've seen people comment on our posts or um, send messages to the page about different common misconceptions that they have about the paleo diet. And I wanted to address some of them because I think that some of these things might be why you out there watching this haven't still haven't signed up for our 30 day challenge. So I thought maybe if I came on here and talked about some of those things and debunk some of those myths, it might encourage you to join us in our challenge. So first thing I want to talk about is what is the paleo diet? So in the paleo diet, we focus on quality protein. So that can be chicken, beef, um, turkey, fish. And when we say quality, that just means looking at where it's coming from. So preferably grass fed and organic meat because um, other traditional farming practices usually feed hormones and antibiotics to their animals and when you eat that, it goes right into your body. So we want to make sure that we're picking good quality protein. In addition to that, we eat lots of vegetables. So any vegetable that you can think of, all different colors of the rainbow, um, there is definitely an emphasis on leafy green vegetables. So spinach, kale, broccoli, um, celery, beets, uh, cauliflower, I'm just trying to think of like random vegetables. Um, pretty much any vegetable that you can think of, we include it in the paleo diet, okay? We also include quality healthy fats, so that can be avocado, avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, olives, nuts and seeds, so walnuts, almonds, cashews, etc. Um, and then we also have fruit in the paleo diet, so you can eat fruit too. So now that you kind of know like what the paleo diet is, let's talk about what it is not. So it, it basically gets rid of all dairy, okay, all um, gluten and grain, so it's completely gluten and grain free, there's no soy, and it removes all the toxic ingredients that are usually found in our food. So industrial seed oils, preservatives, and artificial sugars, we get rid of all that, and we just focus on real whole food, okay? Um, so, one of the first four common misconceptions that I wanted to address that I see all the time that drives me absolutely crazy is people bringing up the fact that paleo people, you know, cavemen died in their early to mid 30s and why should we mimic a diet of people that died so young? So, something that I want to point out is like I'm actually going to reference um, Lauren Cordain. So I recently read The Paleo Diet for Athletes. He has a regular book called The Paleo Diet, but the one that I'm uh, quoting from is The Paleo Diet for Athletes. Highly recommend it. So the quote I wanted to share is, Hunters and gatherers died not from chronic degenerative disease, but from the accidents and trauma of a hazardous life spent in a perilous environment. So you need to put yourself back, right, hundreds of thousands of years ago when you didn't have, we didn't have reliable um, housing, okay, so we were literally sleeping in caves or under branches or wherever we could find temporary shelter, so we had no permanent place to live. We were dealing with the weather, we don't, we didn't have a roof over our head to protect us from storms, okay, think about the devastation of all these storms lately and the devastation they've had on our environment and houses, well, if you didn't even have that protection, that's going to wipe you out, you as yourself. Um, there was no modern medicine, there was no surgical procedures, so if you got your arm ripped off by a lion, it's not like you could go to the doctor and that an injury like that would most likely kill you. Um, there were no antibiotics and there was no understanding of germs like we have today. So you have to think that there was basically no modern medicine occurring at that time. So to attribute diet to being why they died in their mid to early 30s is just not accurate at all. And we're not trying to mimic that diet thinking that they didn't have a long lifespan. We're just trying to focus on real whole food that came before all of these toxic ingredients were added to our food, okay? The next thing I wanted to address is that people are under the idea that the paleo diet means automatically means it's a low carb diet. So when I say low carb diet, um, they assume that because we remove the grains and glutens. 
um, from our food when we uh, adapt a paleo diet, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a low carb diet. So vegetables are carbohydrates, just so we're all clear. Um, and so are sweet potatoes, and there are tons of other um, fruit is a type of carbohydrate. So there's different ways that you can still eat carbohydrates, even though you're not gonna be eating breads and pastas and stuff like that. Um, and actually, if you're a super active person and you're more athletic and you don't have a hard time losing body fat, we actually encourage you to eat carbohydrates for energy. Um, but you, it is not automatically just a low carb diet. Just wanted to put that out there, okay? Um, the third misconception that I often hear is that it's expensive. So, I don't know if this is your first time seeing me on this page, but if you go back to our previous videos, I've shared at least two different videos where I, I think even three at this point, where I talk about um, paleo diet on a budget. So how to shop and do it in a cheap way. Like I'm 30 years old, single, living by myself. So I, I understand how it can be for some people to not be able to afford the grass fed, organic. Like the whole point is just doing the best that you can. So we really just want you to encourage you to ditch all of the toxic pro-inflammatory foods and just focus on the best quality that you can afford to get. So if you go back and look at some of those videos, I offer tons of suggestions. Also in our 30 day challenge group, we're always sharing coupon codes with our customers from other uh, paleo companies. There, we talk about different stores that you can go shopping onto and delivery services. Um, so this is a very manageable way of eating that does not have to be expensive. Okay, so that's number three. Number four is this belief this idea that um, the paleo diet is a meat heavy diet and that all we do is sit around all day and eat bacon. I don't know like where that came from. I think, I think it's because in the paleo diet, like we don't necessarily encourage you to eat a lot of meat or eat a lot of bacon, but we do tell you like it's okay, especially if you are getting it from quality sources. There's gonna be nothing wrong with eating fattier cuts of meat and bacon in your diet. But that doesn't mean that if you don't eat meat, you can't do the paleo diet. So I myself have helped write vegan and vegetarian guidelines for our 30 day challenge. So if you are out there and you don't eat meat, you don't eat fish, and you wanna do the paleo diet or to join us for the 30 day challenge, but you're afraid that you won't know what to eat, trust me, I will help you, our whole team will help you. And like I said, we have guidelines to help you through that. So it doesn't have to be a meat heavy, eat bacon all the time diet, okay? We just really focus on real whole foods. We love vegetables. We encourage you to eat as many vegetables as possible on your plate. And yeah, so that was number four. So I hope that that helped answer some questions that you might be having and maybe like alleviate some worry that you have as far as why you haven't signed up for our 30 day challenge. Um, and as soon as I hit finish on this video, there's gonna be a link that will take you to a page that will uh, tell you more about our 30 day challenge and offer you the opportunity to sign up, which I highly recommend. Um, in the 30 day challenge, we give you, we go way more in depth on the paleo diet than I did in just this quick little video. We give you daily recipes and daily emails with teaching you all about the different concepts of healthy eating and he a healthy lifestyle. Um, we give you weekly meal plans. So they, those are optional, but we do help you as far as providing you with a week's worth of meals if you want to use them. So you can kind of get a feel for maneuvering around a kitchen and learning how to cook paleo. We have a private Facebook group with over 9,000 people in it that ask questions like this all the time. We offer support and motivation to each other. We share our testimonials and our before and after pictures and recipes. And it's just a really fun, really awesome, inspiring group to be a part of. Um, and then there's so many other benefits that I, I can't even like begin to address. So I highly encourage you to click that link Go watch the video, learn about our challenge. If you have any questions about anything that I brought up here, go ahead and comment them below and I'll come back on here and join. And if you are a follower of The Paleo Diet and you're just like, thank you so much for answering these questions that my family or my friends bring up all the time, go ahead and share this video on your Facebook timeline so people can kind of get more informed about this diet and this way of eating because we really just want to help everyone that we can get as healthy as possible. So with that being said, I'm going to go finish cleaning up and getting ready for my sister to come to town. But I hope you guys are going to continue to have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and a wonderful week. And I will see you next time.